Ugandan players who look to take advantage of their home turf when the Uganda International Badminton Championship gets underway this week. The players helped Uganda win a bronze medal in the women's category of the Thomas and Uber Championship in Mauritius. They touched down in Uganda last night and will figure heavily in the Uganda International Badminton Championship that will take place at Lugogo in the stadium. Shamim Banju won a gold medal in the singles category of the Thomas and Uba Cup. She says she will try to guard against complacency. Uganda International is a little tight because uh, we have very many players coming in from different continents and uh, the good players. Uh, actually, I'm playing Zambia in the first round, and then I'll play seed one of the tournament. Um, hopefully, I do to my best, because uh, it's not an easy draw for me. Edwin Ekling didn't perform as well as Banji did in Mauritius. The Holland best player was stopped at the quarterfinal stage. He nevertheless says he can make amends on home soil. I just have to be focused on it, and I just have to play good. Because a lot of good players are in this tournament, like number 60 in the world, number f uh, 65 in the world, 40 in the world. So it's really a challenge. It's not just a Ugandan tournament. Unlike Banji, whose hopes of playing at the forthcoming Olympic Games are dead in the water, a king looks plumed to make the long trip to Brazil. He wants to keep the momentum to remain in contention. I'm still the African number one. I, still, I just have to maintain the way it is. I'll qualify. So I need to perform better here in Uganda, I need to perform better in Switzerland, Poland, and maybe I play uh, Ivory Coast, I need to perform better in those tournaments, so I need to maintain. Jordan became the first team to arrive in Uganda, ahead of the start of the three-day Uganda International Badminton Championship. Sam Boza, NTV Sport.